what's going on everyone welcome back to this youtube channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to install docker on your windows machine so head over to google and search for docker and the first result that you see select this documentation section and you'll see all these operating system options to download our docker desktop for we are going to choose the windows so select the windows and here is the guide on how you can set up the docker on your windows machine so the first thing that we need to do is we need to download the docker setup file so i'm going to choose this docker desktop for windows x86 underscore 64 so click on this one and you can see it starts to download the exe setup for us in the meantime if we go down here you will see that we need to have wsl version 2.1 or later and we need to have windows 11 version as per this requirement and we need to turn on the wsl2 feature on windows as well so let's see how we can do each and every one of them so the first thing i would suggest you to do is press Control, shift and escape key this is going to take you to your task manager and in here click on this performance tab and click on cpu and you'll see this virtualization here if it's enabled then docker is going to run for you if it's disabled for some reason then you need to change it in your bio setting i'm not going to go into that in this video because that's a fairly simple process you can uh, search that on youtube and see how to enable virtualization from your bios so once you have done that docker should work for fine for you but in most cases the virtualization will be enabled by default close this now now we need to check one more thing go to your search bar and search for turn on windows and you'll see something like this turn windows features on or off and in here scroll down till you see windows subsystem for linux if it's not checked for you make sure that it's checked and then click ok it's going to apply the changes for you on your machine once that's done, what you can do is you can go ahead and simply open up the installer. Now it's going to unpack some files for us. Now once the setup is done, it's going to ask you to close and restart. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we are back from restarting our PC. You will be uh, greeted by this. So you can either sign up with your Google account or you can skip it. So I'm just going to skip it. And you'll see this tells me that WSL needs updating and I can use this command to update my WSL. So just copy this command and you'll see that sometimes this opens up uh, immediately when you are back from restarting your PC. And if you hit enter here, it's going to install WSL directly for you. But if for some reason you don't see this window popping up, what you can do is you can press window plus R key, pre enter CMD here and press enter again and paste that command right here, which is wsl dash dash update hit enter and it should be installed for you this is going to take some time because this is going to download a very big file so be patient and for and if for some reason your windows is asking for the privilege escalation then what you need to do is go here and say cmd and right click and click on run as administrator say yes and then you can again paste in that command wsl dash dash update hit enter and it's going to install for you Okay, once the downloading and installation is finished, we can simply go ahead and press any key to exit this. And now we can click on this restart. And if something like this pops up or Docker doesn't start up for some reason, what you can do is you can restart your computer again and open up the Docker. For me, it simply worked. And for many people, if it doesn't work, just restart your computer again and you'll be good to go.